Hey everybody, welcome back to Whispers of Myth. Today we're venturing into one of the most fascinating aspects, at least I think, of UFO encounters and uh, visitations from potential interdimensional beings or whatever you want to call them. Uh, the messages I'm talking about are the ones that abductees and experiencers um, report receiving um, from the occupants of, of these craft, per se, or beings from other dimensions. Uh, each message really seems to carry a, a distinct meaning uh, and intention. So I kind of want to break down some of the most commonly reported ones and, you know, explore what could they signify? Um, what do they mean? Um, anyone out there who's an experiencer, um, chime in in the comments, uh, send me a private message, whatever. Um, I'd like to know. I'm, I'm interested. So buckle up. Uh, it's going to get really deep and pretty weird um, for those that aren't familiar with this entire scene. So I'll go down a list um, that I made. Uh, number one, uh, warnings about nuclear weapons and environmental destruction is uh, a real big one. Uh, report reporting from uh, contactees, experiencers, abductees. Um, it's one of the most common themes. So especially noted during the Cold War era, uh, it involves, involves ET beings warning humans about the dangers of nuclear weapons and environmental degradation. Um, figures like uh, from the USAF personnel have reported this. Um, such messages during sightings uh, at nuclear missile sites. I, I think Robert Hastings wrote an entire book about this, a really good one. I think it's UFOs and Nukes. Uh, the beings, they often, they often communicate a, a concern that uh, humanity might destroy the planet, urging a change in our handling of technology and natural resources. So um, whatever this is, it's a real hands-off method because we've been blowing uh, nuke shots up for a, a long time and nobody has stepped in yet. Uh, number two is um, promoting peace and spiritual growth. Um, we see that a lot from experiencers, uh, such as those that report encounters with uh, the Nordics uh, or Palladians, uh, Ebens. Uh, they describe receiving messages uh, that are really important for peace, love, spiritual development, kind of an ascension type uh, narrative. The beings are described as benevolent, or benevolent. they're concerned um, with our moral and spiritual advancements, um, suggesting that we need to harmonize um, more with each other and the world around us, which, which I agree with, but I think that's pretty common sense. Uh, number three, um, preparing for evolutionary changes. This is a huge narrative um, amongst experiencers and contactees, so some messages um, revolve around the idea of undergoing a huge transformation, some new evolution of humanity, whatever that might be, it's never really stated. Uh, could be spiritual, could be biological, uh, could be technological. Um, they always seem to hint at some type of coming of age or a shift in human consciousness that will dramatically change how we perceive ourselves and uh, our place in the cosmos. Um, Pretty common theme even throughout the spiritual texts. I mean, that's what spiritual texts tell us to do is uh, look within ourselves, go deeper, and, and you'll find the truth. And I agree with that. Uh, number four, um, encouraging, encouraging technological advancement. Now, this one kind of hits multiple areas. People can see it as positive or negative. Um, I, I mean, it's really up to you. It's, it really depends on your perspective. So there's lots of warnings about technological uh, advancements. There's also uh, a push um, to go further with technology from whatever experiencers are receiving from, uh, from the visitors. Um, you know, this stuff can lead to scientific breakthroughs. Uh, the message often comes with a caveat though about using advancements. Um, a, a lot of statements are made that uh, you need to go inward first before you can go outward. Um, outward meaning, you know, technology. Uh, number five, lots of insights into the cosmic order or, or universal laws. So some encounters involve receiving uh, philosophical insights, um, almost like a download to the nature of the universe, uh, often involving complex concepts uh, of mul a multidimensional universe, which uh, I mean, we're starting to figure out uh, as we move through theoretical physics now. Um, the interconnectedness of all life forms. Um, the messages tend to come from beings described as extremely highly advanced technologically and spiritually. 
um, that's that's a, a good message. I think it's I think it's been in our spiritual texts for as, as long as forever. So um, there's another one. Number six is uh, personal transformation and healing, kind of along the same narrative of going inward um, on a more individual level. Many abductees and experiencers report uh, messages that focus on personal healing, transformation, going inward, go in, go in, which is just like the spiritual texts. Uh, it can include life-changing revelations uh, about your individual purpose, your role, uh, healing experiences that are profound physical and emotional effects. Um, I mean, I'm working with a guy uh, currently who is... Uh, paraplegic. Um, he's had many experiences and he's beginning to get the feeling back in, in his legs uh, after the experience. It's pretty crazy. Uh, number seven, um, warnings of impeding um, catastrophes or end of days, um, extremely common um, from these visitors and these visitors in ancient times um, kind of told the same narrative, didn't they? Um, doomsday messages. So some experiencers are shown visions, uh, they're given information uh, about potential future disasters. Um, how many of these have come true yet? Uh, I would say just about zero, but uh, you know, there could be a trickster element to this as well, just leading us down uh, different paths to confuse us. So uh, who knows? Um, so, I mean, those are generally the, the main topics. Um, a lot of the topic is going inward um, staying away from going outward too much, um, learning about the self, uh, learning about compassion. Uh, and then, then there's the trickster element as well. Um, which I think is, is very valid. Um, a lot of this stuff, you know, could be a trick, but, uh, you be the judge. I mean, if you have a, a deep spiritual upbringing and connection, then, you know, trust your faith. Um, but don't be afraid to ask questions. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching uh, another episode of Whispers of Myth. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Take care.